much of being a teenager involves juggling responsibilities and learning skills to advance in life. One McAllen High School student is doing just that with one extra hurdle to jump over. Hannah McKenzie has a story. Between classes, extracurricular activities, and college applications, being a high school student can be tough. Now imagine doing it all while blindfolded. Well, that's basically how Sal Villa lives his life every single day. I got the chance to meet up with this remarkable teenager to tell his story. Here's part one of No Holds Barred. Each one wrong is going to be five points. Sal Villa is a typical 16-year-old boy. He plays percussion in his high school band. He's athletic. And he's got big aspirations. I want to become a lawyer. There's just one small thing that sets him apart from most. He's blind. Sal was born with retinopathy of prematurity, or ROP. ROP is an eye disorder that primarily affects premature babies. I have been blind since birth, but I have not let that stop me from reaching my goals. According to the National Eye Institute, ROP is one of the most common causes of vision loss in children. About 14,000 to 16,000 infants born each year in the United States are affected by some degree of ROP. Of that group, about 400 to 600 become legally blind. But Sal hasn't let being a statistic stand in his way. I have had several challenges throughout my life, but I just find a way to go around them and be the person I want to be. Sal keeps up with current clinical studies, hoping one day he'll be able to see the world for the first time. With science now and technology these days, it's possible. I'm pretty sure I'll miss being blind, but I mean, if it's, it's going to improve it, I'll just go ahead and do it. Sal's mother, Eunice, says he's been active throughout his childhood, yeah. defying the odds and taking on life's obstacles, all while being visually impaired. Two more, Sal. He can do a lot of things by himself. And he's prepared for independence. From learning how to ride a bicycle to flying on airplanes alone, much of Sal's upbringing revolved around milestones and challenges his mother also had to face. Every step that he takes, you think about all the things around him, how he can do this, how we can prepare for this, how is uh, his his self and we have to explore everything. Exploring those options wasn't always easy. This process is hard when you don't know things and everything is new for the parents. Eunice turned to different foundations for help and assistance with learning how to care for a child with disabilities. The main thing she says has gotten her family through it all is support. We try to support him all the things that he wants to do, I try my best. Uh, sometimes it's too hard for me and for my little daughter, but we try for him and get the, he get the, our support. It's through that support that Sal is now weighing his options for college. The high school junior wants to attend the University of Texas at Austin, and despite his mother's pleas, Sal is eager to leave the nest. We are talking about, so why you know what, stay here for the first two years and then go, you can go, no, no, I want to go right now. You know what, so it's too hard. This is a different place, different city. No, no, I'm be okay, mom. I'm ready to go. Sal says his mom has been his biggest cheerleader, there for him every step of the way. But he's also got an internal drive that keeps him going. You should have to find something that makes you move forward. For me, it's the people that deny, oh, you're blind, you're not going to be able to do it. As you heard, Sal finds motivation in those who doubt him. Every day, he strives to prove those doubters wrong. He's active in the community. He's part of the Memorial High School Band and ROTC program. Plus, he plays tennis and boxes. Tomorrow, we'll take you through Sal's typical day in part two of No Holds Barred.